Hey YouTube, just wanted to talk a little bit about our new GT convertible 2024 Mustang. Really enjoyed this car driving. It's a pleasure to drive. It's uh, convertible and uh, we get it out on weekends and occasionally during the week when the weather's nice. Uh, unfortunately, we're gonna have to put it up for the season soon enough. Uh, a couple things I wanted to go over with the under chassis that I see is potential long-term problems for this car as an owner and even short term for uh, a daily driver. So I'll get right to it. So when I we took delivery of this car uh, a month or so ago, we I brought it home, looked at the under chassis and quickly discovered, just looking at it from below uh, or on the ground, it had a bunch of gravel packed in here. These are two openings. They occur on both sides, directly behind this tire front or both sides and obviously if very performance tires are very sticky so they're flinging stones up into this hole and it was packed full of stones and when I say packed I mean it was full there was stones backing through this hole protection board and it we took out piles of stones out of this now this right here is just after one drive and that's not all of it because I vacuumed up in here. I put a vacuum up in there and I'll show you the other side. It's exactly the same issue. Uh, let me bring my light over. Exactly the same thing on both sides. And it also, when stones are being flung up, they work their way. This my phone here. They work their way in right along the pinch mold and the the uh, rocker panel molding so they get stuck all the way down and they'll just vibrate and wedge themselves in so they're damaging this surface as you're driving and yeah you can't see it in out of sight out of mind which is a bad thing uh, this, these little openings here, um, this is your K member right through here. So the, the gravel gets embedded in here and trapped. And if you're a daily driver, you're getting a lot of grit in there and then moisture, and it's just going to sit behind this and then fill into here and sit there and be saturated and wet. And if you live in a wet area, I mean, if, if you live in a place where there's, you know, all paved, dry desert, I don't think it would bother you. But if you're in an area where we are in the Northeast, um, that's going to be a challenge. And particularly, God forbid you drive this thing in the wintertime. Um, the other thing, and I don't know, I guess this, pan is new to the 650 they didn't have it on the 550 i'm not a 550 owner so i wouldn't i couldn't speak to it but based on what i've seen and heard this doesn't this wasn't on there so we get the first time when i cleaned it out there was stones all the way down through here and i was told i was from the rail yard and like okay well it doesn't make it okay because they're getting in there and so we monitor it and yeah it's it, it doesn't take long for stones to get down in there. And if, you know, if it's just a couple, no big deal, but it gets filled right up. The other thing is where your oil filter is. Um, you can reach the oil filter, no problem through here, but if you were changing the oil, you're gonna get oil. If you didn't take this pan out, you're gonna get a ton of oil in here just when you pull that filter. So, um, this pan needs to come down, which is no big deal. It's a few fasteners. You have a couple sacrificial um, plugs here, which kind of lame. They should have made a mechanical fastener there that can be removed and reused like these. I don't get why we didn't do that here, but okay, whatever. Replace it or get a bag of these and that's the way you go. So on every oil change, you should be dropping this pan so you're not making a mess completely up to you but the oil filter is I don't know if you could see it but it's accessible and certainly very easily accessible when this pan comes down um, 
but this, these openings here, that just, I don't understand why this made sense to somebody designing an inner wheel well protection. Why wouldn't this go, why wouldn't this just come down and go around and close that out? I'm sure they have a reason, but it's definitely not hard. I can't figure out why that would be like that. And, and these things should be shingled in a way that overlap so water doesn't run down here and then drive back. This should be stepped out in front, completely covering this edge, not fed underneath it where any water, whatever, can get back underneath there. If you're going to do this, do it right, guys. Uh, I just, I, I, somebody missed this, and uh, I think you, as an owner of a 2024, need to be aware of this little problem. So hopefully this helps people that are thinking about buying this car or own one understand this little situation here. Uh, again, pleasure to drive this car, but I think Ford needs to really take a hard look at this and come up with a fix for this because it's definitely going to be a problem. Um, so hopefully this helps people. And uh, uh, got any questions regarding the under chassis or the car itself, you know, please, please reach out. All right. Hope all is well. Thank you guys. Have a good day.